Who wants to start? Yes, Brittany, kick it off. I don't have a thought on the reading. I just think that that word on the board is wrong. Well, I think it still has two G's in it, last I checked. It's not funny. We shouldn't have to stare at the N-word all day. Uh, listen, this is a class on the literature of the American South. You're going to encounter some archaic thoughts, coarse language, but we're all adults here, and I think we can understand it within the context in which it's written. Well, I just find that word really offensive. With all due respect, Brittany, I got over it. I'm pretty sure you can, too. Well, I don't see why. Right. Now, does anyone else have any thoughts on the reading? Well, it made some of your students uncomfortable. When did they all become so goddamn delicate? That's, this wasn't an isolated incident. What? Last month, you asked a student if his family had been Nazis. Yeah, I did. He's German. We were reading The Plot Against America, and trust me, by the way he was squirming, they were. Oh, my God. Uh, Monk, you are a very talented writer. We're fortunate to have you here. What? He hasn't published in years. I have written three novels since the last time you published. Yeah, this is true, and the speed with which you write only proves that good things take time. <laughs> oh, go to hell, Monk. No, relax, Mandy. Yeah, relax, Mandy. And anyway, my new book is with Echo, and my agent says they're very excited about it. Oh, that's great to hear. What's it, what's well, it can about? Can we stop stalling, Leo? Um, listen, Monk. We'd like to give you a break. A break? Just some time off. Mandatory time off. It's just you're already going to Boston for the festival, right? Why don't you just... Well, stay there. Because I hate Boston. My family's there. Well, you need some time to relax. You're on edge. Now you're under the impression that time spent with my family will take the edge off. I'm fine. You're not fine. I saw you crying in your car last week. Oh. He punched the steering wheel. Oh, wow. You know, if you spent less time spying on me, you could probably write a dozen more novels that people buy in airports with their neck pillows and oh, cheeses. Here we go. Okay. No, you want to go, Dirty Doggy? Okay, well, enjoy Boston. You can, you can get my book at the airport. Oh, and good luck with Echo. 